Hello and welcome again to my YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't by this point, I would like you to subscribe to this channel to receive more helpful and useful videos like this. So after my last video on how to withdraw from Binance to the Trust Wallet to withdraw the TWT that was airdropped by Binance to the Trust Wallet, I've been receiving messages, people asking to do the reverse. Now they have TWT in their Trust Wallet and don't send over to Binance to cash out. In order to do this, you need two apps. You need the Trust Wallet app and you need the Binance app. So the first thing you're going to do is to head over to the Binance app. Uh, once there, by the way, let me state that unlike the last video, as at this time, TWT is, um, has been listed on Binance. So TWT is tradable on Binance. If we go over to trades, I'm clicking at the bottom here, trades, okay? And we search TWT. We can see that TWT can be traded against USD, US, BUSD and BTC. This wasn't like that in the last video. But anyways, back to what we are doing today. So click on wallet and on that wallet, go to spot and then click on deposit. Remember, we have coins in trust wallet and we're sending it over to Binance. So we are depositing in Binance, but withdrawing from trust wallet. So under crypto, make sure this is under crypto, search at the top and type TWT. It shows you trust wallet token. So you click on it. And um, very importantly, there are two addresses, okay? There is the BEP20, which is the Binance Smart Chain um, blockchain. And there is the BEP2, which is Binance Chain blockchain. The BEP20 is Binance's equivalent of the ARC20 um, network, okay? And the BEP2 is Binance Chain, okay? So you have to know where your TWT is before you decide what address to copy because if you have your TWT in the BEP20 which is the Binance Smart Chain Network you have to copy the BEP20 address which is the first one if you have it in the BEP2 you have to copy the second address so we're going to head over to Trust Wallet and we're going to check where our own uh, TWT is as you can see here this TWT I really don't have much of it right at the moment. So we see that it's in the BEP20, okay? This is the BEP20 network. That's the Binance Smart Chain network. So I head back to Binance and I copy the first address because it's BEP20. It's called BEP20 or Binance Smart Chain, okay? I copy the address by clicking here. The address has been successfully copied and I go back to um, what's it called? I go back to the trust wallet and I click on send. Now all I have to do is to paste that address I just copied and also max. So paste. Uh, I, in my case, I want to send all the TWT I have. Maybe it's different for you. But as you can see, you see the value of the TWT under here and you also see um, a place up for you to continue. So I click on continue. It asks me to confirm. Okay, so let's just wait a bit. Okay, it's telling me that um, this is the total I'm sending and this is the network fee. If you notice, the network fee is in BNB. Now, this is where a lot of people have problems. They have uh, no BNB on this wallet, their trust wallet, but then they want to send their TWT. What do you do if you face this challenge? Okay, uh, let's go back and i show you. Now, very importantly, you have to take note of the network your TWT is in. The Trust Wallet has the ability to hold BEP20 coins, BEP2 coins, and ERC20 coins. So, if you don't take note of the network you are sending from, the, the, the network you are sending from, what happens is that you could have BNB and still not be able to complete this transaction. You need BNB in your BEP20 wallet. 
you need BNB in your, in your BEP20 uh, wallet in order to do this. So if you don't have BNB, you have to go to Binance, go back here, um, cancel, go to trades, and then Binance USD. After buying your BNB, okay, this is very easy. Just click here, put in the amount in BNB or the amount in USD you want to buy. After that, um, head over to your wallet and then look for that BNB and then click on withdraw. If you have your TWT tokens in the BEP20, um, what's it called? The BEP20 network in your trust wallet then what you need to do is that you have to go to trust wallet okay and then look for that bep20 and smart chain are the same thing so this represents this one here is the bep20 bnb this one here is the bep2 bnb okay so if we click on this okay we can copy this address by clicking on copy here I'm going heading back to the Binance app and then pasting it here. Okay. Now select network. Remember, we're using BEP20, Binance Smart Chain. You click on it and then you confirm. It tells you the network has selected as BSC. Make sure, be sure that this is the correct address. Be sure that this is the correct network you have chosen at the other side. Then I could do max. And then withdraw but i'm not interested in withdrawing bnb from binance to trust wallet since i already have some bnb there and because this bnb here is serving some purpose okay so this is just to show you how you can um, get bnb all over to your trust wallet and then easy to stand one other thing i'll mention here is that um, one other important thing to note is that there is a fee for sending if i'm sending max for example you can see that there is a fee attached to sending okay check under here you see transaction fee 0 0.002 bnb that's very small okay just to show you how small it is so i'm going to head over to trade and i'm going to type that in here 0 0.002 that is about 14 cents or 18 cents approximately that is the fee i charging so it's not high if you are buying five dollars or even two dollars worth of bnb you should be able to complete your transaction okay having done this we're going to go back here and then try to send our twt again remember this is twt we click on it now we click on send because this is where we have it so send we have to go back to for the address since i have been doing some explanations so easy deposit click on deposit at the top then search for it i don't have to because i already here in my search history i just click on it and then i see that okay it's bm bep20 i have bep20 um bmb in my trust wallet i can do my transaction i copy address by clicking on this here i copy the address copy successful head back to trust wallet and paste the max okay and i continue by clicking here okay it's just going to take a while to load as you can see it's telling me this transaction is going to cost eight cents and it's telling me the address is going to and everything i need to know once i click on send my gmb my twt would reflect on the other side so let's do that And voila, pending transaction. It's done. It's done. Let's see if we can wait for it to arrive at the other side. Okay, I just got a notification. Uh, that's, yeah, sent. So I just have to go over to my wallet and then I would see it. It may take a while for it to come. It may take a while, uh, but not so long, since it's the Binance Smart Chain Network. I'm gonna pause here and come back once.
I get a transaction. Okay, we have a trust token in now, as you can see here, 4.027939161 in our wallet. Now, uh, you may notice a slight difference, okay? When sending from Binance to Trust Wallet, you paid in TWT. But when sending from Trust Wallet to Binance, you paid in BNB. I don't know why, but I guess that's just what um, Trust Wallet and the folks at Binance wanted for the Trust Wallet that the medium of exchange is BNB. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget, like this, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And if you have any questions, any suggestions, or anything you want me to cover, please feel free to use the comment section and I'll get back to you ASAP. Before my, on to my next video, stay safe uh, and keep making that crypto money.